Hey guys, it's the Guts of Trun Uh <laughs> before, before I start the video, just, just let me say something really, really funny. So, I actually tried to make this video like yeah, just a few minutes ago right now, and the uh, thing that happened <laughs> is, that, is that while I was just uh, talking to the microphone, the computer turned, and I just shut this up all but it just turned black screen and it was still on. So, but I thought it was just still going to record the voice. But then, I then when I, when I got done with the recording, uh, the the file was just lost. The it didn't record after it turned black. So I had basically been talking for about I don't know ten twelve minutes, uh, and it didn't record like ten of those minutes. And I was like, wow, that was a lot of talking I did, and I didn't even record that well. Oh well, too bad. But anyway, I won't make that mistake now. I'll be sure to just, um, while I'm talking, move the mouse so it doesn't turn, you know, black. So yeah, anyway, uh, to the actual, actual video you guys are watching. Now, the title, if I if I haven't changed it by now, it's uh, my favorite anime. And my favorite anime, I'm just going to cut this short because in the, last, in the first, try, first attempt at this, I just use a whole lot of dialogue for this. So I'm just going to say right away, it's... Um, the Shonen series, the uh, the uh, anime that is written by uh, Akira Toriyama, that is uh, mostly known for one of his greatest series when it comes to screaming and power ups and all that. So yeah, if you guys haven't guessed it, it's Dragon Ball. Now, it's the entire Dragon Ball franchise, like literally everything from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z to Dragon Ball GT. I don't care if it's canon or not, it's great. And Dragon Ball Super, the newest series now. So yeah, what I like about Dragon Ball is it's simple direction in everything. The simple, uh, it's like everything about it is quite simple. So the story starts off really easy in uh, about the, in about a forest with the main character Goku or Son Goku I like to say this Goku, who is uh, just doing his regular thing, living there, do, does his chores and all that. One day, this girl named Bulma, who's looking for uh, seven Dragon Balls, uh, stumbles upon Goku because uh, she finds out he has the one of the seven Dragon Balls. Um, at first she. She tried to take it from him, but then she ends up explaining to him what the Dragon Balls are, and the uh, short story is short, she asks if he wants to come along with him, and uh, he says yeah, because he will get some training out of it, because Goku is the kind of guy who likes to train, get stronger, uh, like his uh, grandpa Gohan would have done, because uh, Goku got trained by his grandfather, who is uh, who's dead in this, in this you know at this point. So yeah. And so those two are starting off a journey, and then they go to, uh, let's see now, they, uh, let's see, they, yeah, that's right, they go to uh, the forest, they travel a lot, to, trying to get to the next Dragon Ball, and um, on the way they meet the uh, a turtle that needs to help getting home, and they help, help it with it, and I'm, just not, I'm not going to explain too much, I'm just going to say that, you know, the simple thing about it. They, okay, so they help the turtle get home, and then this master, this master of turtle or owner, he, he comes and he claims to be the leg legendary mutant Roshi or Master Roshi, the turtle hermit. So yeah, um, the turtle her hermit has the um, one of the Dragon Balls on him, and he gives them to it in exchange for looking at something that's really per pervert, like he's doing something really really pervy. So yeah. That's what he does, and then they are off to the next Dragon Ball, which is in, is in a town that is being harassed by a pig man that can transform into anything. So yeah, they stop that uh, problem, and then they get to Dragon Ball of that town, and that pig Oolong is his name, and they, it joins them on their quest. And then later it's a new Dragon Ball, they're entering the desert, and welcome to one of the greatest, most hateful characters ever, Yamcha of the desert. So yeah, at first Yamcha is a, a little badass character, he's going toe to toe with Goku, that by the way has beaten every character up to this point, except Master Roshi, but, but, but they didn't fight at that point. So yeah, uh, Yamcha wrecks Goku a little, but that's only because Goku's hungry and he's he can't fight that well. And then, um, yeah, Yamcha ends up being Goku, but then he sees Bulma, and he's like, oh no, I can't talk to girls, I'm really embarrassed around them. So he runs away. 
and then later he overhears them talking about the Dragon Balls because I should probably I should probably mention that the Dragon Balls are basically just seven seven Dragon Dragon seven balls that when are gathered together some sort of great dragon Shenlong and the Shenlong grants one wish and Yamcha them hears about him Yamcha and his partner poor cat flying thing. And he decides he's going to help them so he can snatch the Dragon Balls and make his wish to um, get rid of his shyness get around girls. Um, yeah, Bulma's uh, wish was to wish for the greatest boyfriend ever and at this point I was like, really realizing where this was going. And yeah, so later, those are basically the, the important characters you meet at, in this first arc. So those meet, they get the Dragon Ball, but after a lot of things, the you know, and Bulma, they, they just... Uh, Starting liking each other, and they're like, okay, we don't need a wish anymore. Uh, or that's not exactly how it was, but uh, it was how it was after the wish because they just realized they already had what they wanted. The wish after the Dragon Balls were uh, summoned was the Oolong of all things. He just said, oh, you know what, I want panties. Give me some panties, the most uh, you know comfortable panties ever. And he actually got it. <laughs> it was a little funny, and it's actually a real disappointing because all that build up and everything. But yeah, the only reason he wished for that is, is because so that another person would not get his hor horrible, uh, uh, horrible wish to control the world and every everything. The Pill of Gang. So yeah, that is the first season. That is basically the first season. And the rest of it goes from Goku going back to uh, his that turtle hermit, Master Roshi, to train. And then he meets his ri rival at that point, Krillin. Those who train together and then later enters a martial, martial art tournament and they fight, they get a lot more stronger. And uh, Goku starts to impress me really, really, really much. He gets so much powerful already. Like, yeah, my second favorite anime is Naruto. And Naruto like a bunch of ninja and everything. Uh, at that point, Goku is, he's like, he can wreck a lot of uh, Naruto characters. Like, a lot, in my opinion. Not the strongest Naruto characters, but a lot at the beginning of Naruto. So, yeah. That is the uh, so yeah that happens. There's a tournament and everything. So after the tournament, Goku is uh going on a quest to find this Dragon Balls again, or not the Dragon Balls. He's just going to find one specific ball that belonged to his grandpa Gohan. And yeah, and after that, once he actually does that, he finds he has to find every last Dragon Ball because later he finds he gets a friend named Upa, and his father gets killed. By a uh, assassin, assassin, because uh, that assassin was after Goku, and he killed him in the process because he wanted to. And Goku gets after defeating that uh, that uh, enemy Tao Papai or Mercenary Tao. He then he then destroys a, uh, the army that sent him, and then he gets Dragon Balls, and then he meets up with his grandfather. And I'm not gonna you know tap in on that. So yeah, uh, the Dragon Balls, he wishes uh, for Bo uh, Upa's father to come back to life, he does that, and then it's time for a new tournament. This is the same tournament as um, the one I mentioned not so long ago, only this time it's new contestants and futuristic partners and, um, you know, uh, comrades and all that. So yeah, after the tournament, a lot of conflict and everything, um, the newest, the last arc of this series, the Demon King Piccolo arc, so yeah, that's uh, Demon King Piccolo is just a demon that uh, Master Roshi fought a Master Roshi fought a long, long time ago. That's really, really terrible and everything, and he has a lot of build up. And this arc was really, really great. I loved everything about this arc. It was you know so much uh, emotions. It has so much character build up. It had just the most badass fight scenes. Goku versus King Piccolo, um, the Goku getting mad about his friends getting killed. He like King Piccolo. He killed Goku's rival Krillin, Goku's uh, master Roshi, and a friend of his Chiaotsu. Like he killed three of those people, and not to mention he actually killed the uh, the the the, the, drag, the dragon Shenlong, the one that grants the wish. Uh, Wishes and everything. So after King Piccolo gathered the Dragon Ball, he wished for eternal youth and then just killed the dragon after that because so that no one would ever, you know, uh, be able to wish for King Piccolo to get d destroyed or anything like that. So he was pretty much secure because he was a strong, a strong person at that time. Until 
Goku, who didn't actually get killed by King Piccolo in their last encounter, he survives, he goes back, he gets armor stronger, and they fight, and Goku wins. Short. And then, that's actually it for Dragon Ball, except that later, King Piccolo, before he got killed, he laid a new egg that was supposed to be his son, and he laid his entire essence into that egg, so that that egg, his son, become actually like Piccolo. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm completely confused about that part, but yeah. So yeah, that happened, they fight in a new tournament, again, because this villain, villain is now Pink King Piccolo. Um, yeah, for once, this is the only tournament Go Goku ever won. Like, this the first time, he beat every opponent, and then there's... I didn't wreck Piccolo, but he actually won, so that's the most important thing. After that, Goku ma get married by with a kid, or... Not, no, <laughs> no, 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 he doesn't, get, he doesn't marry a kid, he, he marries a girl, he he met when they were kids is what i was going to say yeah so yeah okay that that's actually that's uh that was the whole dragon ball ser series like the, the regular dragon ball now it's not my favorite but i just want to you know use a little time to explain why i liked it so it this was the build up to dragon ball to see and uh the that made me watch watch Dragon Ball Z because they were both amazing and then uh, Dragon Ball Z was a build to Dragon Ball Super. I won't go into those two because I always use ten minutes in Dragon Ball. But know this that me using so much time just proves how much I love this series. I could do the same with the uh, Pokemon and Naruto, but just this feels more natural to me. It feels like it's coming straight out of my mouth. Like if I knew you people would just love to sit here and listen to me, I would just do it. But there's also a lot of people who, who wouldn't like to do that, so that now I'm just going to stick with those people's opinion. So yeah, now that's a lot of people uh, in, coming in Dragon Ball Super and Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball GT. So I'm just going to talk right now about my favorite characters from uh, the entire series. Like these are going to be characters that are, are in the new series that I haven't even talked about yet. So. Yeah, I hope you guys at least have seen Dragon Ball if you know about this. Now, uh, let's see now. My favorite character is really, really hard to say. It's uh, it's uh, one of four characters. The one being Goku Black. Goku Black is the newest villain in the Dragon Ball Super. This Dragon Ball Super's new series in the Dragon Ball Super yeah series. Goku Black is just an amazing character. He's just essentially he's just evil Goku. And he was such a bad ass. He just did. He just wrecked a lot of people who were well, a lot more weak, weaker than him. Although it didn't seem like a fair fight, but it was just bad how he actually treated everyone. How he just killed off every single one. And he just had this really uh, terrible atmosphere around him that made things just look so, you know, so much uh, more terrifying around him. And. When I saw him, I was like, is this Goku? This can't be Goku. Just look at that evil grin. He's just so evil. And, you know, that was really uh, terrifying. And this build up the scene a, a really lot. And his character is just badass. And that, that's basically it. And he has this super, super awesome transformation that goes super same rose. That way he goes from, uh, you know, in short, he goes from black hair to pink hair. Although it doesn't sound cool, just... So just look up uh, Super Saiyan Rose and it's going to look awesome, it, in my opinion, if it does, and most Dragon Ball fans. Now that's just one, and the other one is Vegito. Now Vegito is a fusion between two characters, that being Goku, the main character, and Vegeta, Goku's rival. Now Vegito, as I said, fusion. Some of you might now not know what that what that is, but fusion is essentially two people joining. Joining one body, becoming one new person, and that is Vegito. Vegito is just a combination of go both Goku's and uh, Vegeta's name. Well, Goku's Saiyan name, that is, Goku's an alien with this, you know, alien name. So, his name is Kakarot, or in Japanese as Kaka Kakaroto. So, Vegeta and Kakaroto becomes Vegito. It was actually hard to know that at the beginning, but later I looked it up. So yeah, those two, because, okay, so why I like Vegito is, well, let's just say, if Vegito wasn't there, I would just say second place goes to either Goku or Vegeta, because those two are just awesome characters. Like, there are flaws with both of them, but
but when they become one, those flaws are just gone. They're literally not there. There's just nothing wrong about the uh, Vegito. Like, yeah, Vegito has the attitude where he has just two things that are wrong, but he can always fix that. One is that he lets his enemy always get the power up they need to, you know, so they get full power and everything. The second is that he's toying too much, using too much time to play around and all that. But he's just so strong, it doesn't matter. He's just so badass. He just toys with everyone. He just does all these awesome things that makes these awesome comebacks. And he's just so funny and awesome. It's just, as I said, it, it, the, the way they feel is like they, they take the one character times the other ty- character. And, you know, of course they're going to they're gonna go, they're gonna go a lot more pa- powerful than that. Yeah, so those two are my favorite characters, Goku Black and Vegito. Uh, or, or I should maybe say Super- Vegito Blue, because that's uh, another Super Saiyan transformation that is still better. <sighs> yeah, so those two, yeah, again, those two are my favorite characters. Um, Dragon Ball is just my favorite uh, series ever. Yeah, I, I've always loved it since I started watching it, like, I you know, three years ago, I think. Uh, I watched it around the time that new newest Dragon Ball Z movie came out, Resurre- Resurrection F, where they, where the plot was to you know resurrect uh, the evil Emperor Frieza, and it was such a great movie, and I was happy that I was actually being able to finish the entire series at the point at the same point that the first trailer for that movie came out because I didn't I thought Dragon Ball was really really old I thought it was ancient like no one ever saw it and everything and at the same time. I, I was like, I was so lucky that when I finished it, the, it was announced that uh, Dragon Ball Super was going to start and all that. I was like, no way. Am I dreaming? Because, uh, am I the luckiest person alive? Because I think I really hit the, hit the nail on this. I was so lucky. And also, yeah, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I also play the games. I bought Pokemon. No, nah, well, pff, not Pokemon. About Dragon Ball, Tenka, Dragon Ball Z, Tenkaichi, Budokai, something, 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 I don't remember. And I played that, and I bought Dragon Ball Raging Blast, um, something else. But the two most popular games that I bought, one is Dragon Ball Z Universe 1 on PlayStation 3. Then later, with some of the YouTube money, money I earned, I used uh, that on uh, uh, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 on Steam. Which uh, was probably wasn't so fun to play because you know, I was not really great with using computers, but I just couldn't resist trying to buy it because I would really love the game, and I didn't have a PS4 or a Xbox One, and I didn't want to pay for the online thingy. So yeah, I did that, and it's really great. I got used to it, and it's really fun to play, especially the DLC character where I use Goku Black and Vegito. Vegito is not D- DLC, but still, it's really fun. Okay, guys, I'm almost at 20 minutes right now, and I think I've gone too far to talk about this. I could talk about more, but I don't, I don't want to use too much time. Although, I kind of regret not talking about too much about the whole Dragon Ball one, one first series, but I just want to say that this, that was just for me to show how much exactly I love the series. And I hope the, the uh, author and the people producing Dragon Ball would never stop doing it and keep producing the amazing animation and uh, series they do. Keep it creating great stories and uh, animation and characters and all that. So yeah, and I'll, actually, right now this uh, Sunday, that we're when the new Dragon Ball Super episode comes out at the let's see now the fourth of July, is uh, episode ninety three I think ninety three yeah. the episode where uh, Dragon Ball's most iconic enemy villain. Frieza comes back to life again this series because he this is a lot, a lot of spoilers but at this point I have so I, mean, I have so lot of subscribers that I, that, that how many people are going to see this but uh, Frieza is going to be the last uh, 10 fighter of universe 7 to join the fray to join the fight for his universe I don't know exactly how this is going to be but I really hyped for that also there's female Broly and everything but yeah the compared to Frieza no 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 Okay, guys, that's actually it for this uh, talk talking video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this because I was I actually enjoyed making this as uh, much as I just talked about it. So if you guys have any fa- any favors that you want me to talk about, just leave them down in the comments below, and I will consider doing them. And also, be sure to like this video if you did like it. Um, if you're new to the channel, keep uh, 
subscribe, uh, click the subscribe button so you can keep uh, having you know notification about whenever a new video is po uh, coming up. And that's actually it. Now I'll see you guys another time, comrades. Have a nice day.